Yo, what's going on guys? Got a really nasty post move for you today, and sorry for the lack of videos. I wasn't home for the past four or five days, but what you do with this post move from the left side, you just spin from the three o'clock hour to the nine o'clock hour, and you get a really nice spin animation, and from the right side, the nine o'clock hour to the three o'clock hour, all with the right stick, and it's pretty nice because in practice and scrimmages and stuff, they don't really dunk, but Cousins has one coming up here that he just destroys the rim. And I think it's this upcoming one right about here. Yeah. And to get him back into position, you can call pick and roll and call post up again. But he dunks right over Miles Turner right there. Pretty nasty move. And you'll see later in the video with Dwight Howard that the more they're known for dunking, the more they'll do it, actually. Like, guys like Andre Drummond can do it. AD, obviously. Blake can do it. DeAndre Jordan can do it. And you can either hold the square button or the right stick to continue the shot animation or wait until the spin animation is over. Either or works, but it can be defended as you see right there. It's not just, you know, a really glitchy move, but it's really nice. And probably I would say 7 out of 10 times it's going in if they're playing CPU defense and sometimes versus user defense as well. But as you can see, Dwight just destroys Andrew Bogut right there. Going back to Dwight again. And I'm going to show you guys a nice post play to get him into like perfect position for this move. And Dwight going back at Bogut. And there was really nothing he can do about that. Now I'm trying with LA right here. LA is obviously more of a finesse type of player. He doesn't really dunk on you like a Dwight Howard, AD, Blake Griffin. But he finishes well around the rim regardless. And the great thing about this move, it can also be done with players like LeBron, KD, Carmelo Anthony, and coming up here, I believe, in the Carmelo highlights, after the KD highlights, I'm going to show you the play. Basically, I'll just tell you real quick, it's called Punch 5 out of the Rockets playbook, and it's a post-up low play. You set it for the player, obviously, that you want to post up with and go to work, pretty much. See, KD can do it, and I'm going to switch teams coming up here to show you that Melo can do it as well, obviously. Melo is one of the strongest players in the league and KD is just going right around him like it doesn't even matter really and as you can see KD obviously gonna finish well around the rim I mean he's Kevin Durant got a long ass wingspan and here I'm showing you guys the play post up low out of the Rockets playbook called punch five gets it really into good position to run these post moves and pretty much the uh, post moves are kind of garbage to me, except for a few like these. I mean, there's just too much bumping down in the post, and you really have no control sometimes over your player. But anyway, Melo scores on Durant, and it can be done with pretty much any guy. It's a decent score. If you guys enjoyed this tip, drop a like and subscribe. If you're new, I'm out. Peace.